Sorry? Can, can, can you see this, my screen? I can see, yeah, uh, we can see a, a baby turtle or turtles or whoever it is and some kind, of a, some kind of a table thing. Yeah, okay. Okay, so as I, as I was told with Eymar, uh, my name is Christian, okay? I'm from uh, Spain, from the Mediterranean coast of Spain, okay? And I'm a marine biologist or a biologist focused on the marine life. And, and I've worked with marine turtles, okay, like for two years. And if I can, I, I will do next year also. And if you want, we can talk a little bit about what's the marine turtles, uh, what's the importance of uh, having them in our oceans, and what we do in different conservation programs, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, my English, I try to uh, improve it. Okay, so if you, for any reason, you don't understand anything, just let me know and I will try to explain it in other way, okay? Okay, English isn't our first language either, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's two pictures was uh, took by me, okay, in the conservation I was working in. It was in Costa Rica, okay, in the tropics, like two years ago, I was working two years and First of all, I was just introduction with what is a sea turtle, okay? I have this little turtle here. Mm -hmm. So for kids to explain, we know that sea turtles are reptiles, okay? That means that they have like cool blood, okay? So they need to go up, they need to go on the surface of the ocean, they need to warm their blood, and they need to be there, okay? They have lungs like ash. Okay, so as turtles are going every time, like diving, they go up every long, like maybe every five, six hours, depends on every species, to get breathed, okay, and to get warm, okay, and they lay, they lay eggs on land. That means that they spend all this life in the ocean, but the females, when they need to have babies, they need to go to the shore, to the land, and lay their eggs. Okay, we will see. We will see in the next uh, screens. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, how many turtles we have on the ocean? Okay, we have as individuals, we have a lot, but every time it's less and less. We will see after, but there are like seven species. Okay, that seven species that we have currently, they are now like uh, in two big families. One is the family Kelonidae, okay? And we can see all these little turtles, like the number one, the number A, it's uh, called Olive Ridley, okay? Usually they are on Pacific area, and even in, in the, like South Pacific, in coast, uh, Atlantic coast, sorry, uh, American coast, and even uh, Sur Asian coast, okay? Then we have the Camps Ridley, okay? The Lepidocalis Kempi is just in a little tiny area in Mexico. It's just like the brother of the Lepidocalis olivacea, but another kind of species, okay? Uh, we can find then the green ones, okay? And they are green, we call green ones because of their nutrition, okay? Because they can eat algae, so their skin are really green. Okay, like a green and yellow. So people, when that, they start to call them the green turtle. Okay, then we have the flat packs. Okay, are only in Australia. Okay, I can I I couldn't see that. I I've not been in Australia. Okay, <laughs> uh, then the other one for me the uh, like the best one because it's really, really, really uh, beautiful. It's uh, the Hawksbill, okay? And also, we call Hawksbill because they have a beak like a hawk, okay? And they use it to eat because they just eat a specific line, uh, animal and we will see after also, okay? And the other one is the loggerhead, okay? Uh, called Careta Careta. And for example, that one, it's that we have here in the Mediterranean coast and also in different parts of the Atlantic, okay? And then there are other one, just in other family by its own, and it's this one, okay? 
that was uh, the turtle I was focused on working in my two years. It's called the Mokelis coreathea or leatherback. It's the biggest one in all our oceans, and it's one of the biggest animal now in our oceans. Okay, it's not the biggest one, but it's one of the biggest ones. Okay, it can tow like two meters and even 60 kilograms. So it's like a big dinosaur, like a monster, but it's totally inoffensive. Okay, really, really cool to see on the beach. And as you can see on the picture on your right, okay, do you think what, what can be this? Can you imagine what can, can be that one? Kind of tentacles? More or less, okay. It's like their teeth because they don't have it, okay. So it's like their throat. So they uh, eat jellyfish, a lot of jellyfish. And as you, have, as you know, jellyfish is like bubbles, okay. So they use all these little spines to smash all the jellyfish and so they can eat it, okay. And they can move during all the years far away from the feed area to the uh, reproduction area. So for example, I was looking after that turtles in Costa Rica, and when they finish their season, they go to up uh, on the North America, and they can cross all the Atlantic Ocean and arrive even in your source, you know, in, in Ireland or the north uh, part of, of England. Some fishermen uh, found them in, in that part, okay? So they can move like 10,000 kilometers in the ocean every year, okay? When they are going from uh, reproduction areas to feeding areas and, and so. And then there are really, really good divers and they can go down deep on the ocean like two kilometers, one and a half, two kilometers, just two miles, okay? You just imagine that the tallest mountain we have is like 4,000 meters, okay, like Everest. So they can go just deep on the ocean, half of one of the biggest mountains we have on land, okay? It's really, really much. And uh, how can uh, they do that? Because they have like adaptations to live in life in, in, in the sea, okay? As you know, we have different turtles. It's just not marine turtles. We have also like terrestrial ones, okay? So marine turtles adapt their bodies to be really comfortable on, on the ocean, okay? On, on, on water and what they do. So maybe you have, or you have been, uh, or you have seen sometimes the terrestrial ones that they can just hide inside their, their, um, their back, their shell, but the marine turtles cannot do that, okay? This, uh, the, the, the shell they have is totally, Stop. not go, uh, to like to to hide inside okay and then instead of having like we have arms and legs and they have legs they change that and they uh, develop like a big big um, um, how to say like modifying legs like fins okay to dive so easily okay and they can go and they can move really really fast on the ocean but then when they go to the beach as uh, they don't have legs they just move so slow okay so they spend a lot of time from the beach to go back to the ocean again okay and they i remember when i start uh, working with them that sometimes when you were close to the head of the of the turtle you could see that the turtle was start crying and the chill say like, oh, turtle is crying, maybe it's suffering. But that's not crying as like they have feelings at all. It's because they remove their excess of the salt from its cries, okay? Because they can drink, they cannot drink like water. They drink just uh, seawater and you know the seawater and the salt. 
So to remove all these salt excess, when they are on land, they start crying to the excess of salt from their bodies. So you can see maybe uh, in some videos how they are crying. And people say like, oh, they're crying because they suffer when they are laying eggs. But that's not true, okay? And uh, they don't have feet at all, okay? You can see that they have like a bit, as I see from, uh, I told you about the hawksbills, but there are the others, okay? That of the sea turtles have feet, okay? They have just modified mouths, uh, depends on uh, which um, uh, food they can eat, like we will see now, okay? What do sea turtles eat? So it depends on each species. Some of them are like us, we are omnivores, that means that we can uh, eat uh, a lot of different things, from plants, from different animals, okay? Fish, meat, okay? Uh, the, the sea turtles uh, don't eat meat, but the, they can eat fish meat, okay? Sometimes. Other crustaceans, like crabs, okay? And jellyfish also. But then are others that are just specialized in it, uh, a singular kind of animal. For example, the, um, the hawksbills have this long, big, really strong, because they eat sponges. Do you know what sponges? Oh, yeah. Okay, so they are focused on eat sponges. And that is really important for the coral reefs because they are com the, com the competitors of the, of the coral reefs. So, like, we can see, like, coral reefs and sea turtles are like friends because they are, you know, uh, have been, like, uh, working together. Uh, the coral reefs maintain the habitat and the turtles uh, can eat their competitors, okay? And then we have the ladder bugs. Okay, on other bugs, uh, jellyfish. So they are really, really important on our oceans because if the ladder bugs um, stop to feeding them because they disappear, jellyfish uh, won't have a predator. And that means that jellyfish start reproduction a lot and that's really, really hard for the ecosystems and that's really, really uh, uh, wrong and hard for us, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we have the other ones, like uh, we call the vegetarian ones, and they're the green ones, okay? Because they are just eating uh, algae, okay? When they are tiny ones, they can, at uh, first, like the first stage of their life, they can eat different uh, tiny animals, but as they are growing, they starting to change their uh, the, uh, way of food, okay? And then, they just, um, like the scientists have realized that they just uh, um, eat different kind of um, algae that we have on the oceans. And it's really also important because algae needs to be controlled, okay? It needs to be like, um, how to say, managed, okay? Because overgrown of algae also could be really hard for the other ecosystems. Okay, so we can see that the sea turtles are like the keystones, okay? We will see now, okay? And I can, uh, if, if it's open, I'm gonna show you, give me one minute. I would like to show you. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, it was, <laughs> I was prepared a, a little video, but I, uh, it's, uh, it's here, yeah, okay. Look, that's the Hawksville, okay, going into the coral reefs looking for sponges, okay. They're really predators of that kind of animals, okay. And you can see how they start eating all that sponges, okay, around the coral reefs. They are really selective, okay? 
Okay. And then, uh, what's the light of a cheat turtle? Because it's really, really uh, like uh, deep to understand because it has like different uh, phases or stages, okay? So we can start, for example, with the adult, okay? When a female is ready, they go, as I told, as I told you, from these uh, feeding areas and they're, they move in in a long migration way to the uh, reproduction areas that usually are on the tropics, okay? Because it's hot and warm and it's uh, good for the, the eggs. So when the female is ready, they go to the shore, okay? During the night, usually, and they uh, dig, okay, a nest, and I will show you that after, okay? And uh, when the nest is ready, they start laying this tiny eggs, okay? And the eggs usually are like 80, 100 eggs in every, any clutch, okay? It, 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 it's me like any time. And when uh, she finished, she cover, okay, all the nest, and she just go, okay? She uh, never take care of the babies. From the moment of the uh, the mother finish to lay the eggs, just say goodbye and go again to the ocean. Okay, but in a, a reproduction season, okay, in a nesting season, one female can lay at, uh, up to more or less five, seven times. Okay, in for example, five months. Okay. It depends on the season. For example, in, in my example, in, in my case, uh, we were working with them from March to uh, uh, June. So we uh, got some females that come to us even seven times to lay eggs. Okay, this, the, the same female. So why they are moving from feeding areas to other areas to nest in tropicals? in the tropics because they, they need the warm uh, temperatures because the DX needs to be on average of 29 degrees, more or less, 29.5, okay? That it's called the uh, pivotal temperature in which uh, half of the X uh, will be maybe females and the other half will be uh, males, okay? So if the temperatures get down, okay, uh, most of the eggs will become to uh, uh, males. And if the temperature raises and goes up to 30, most of the eggs will be females, okay? That, that's why it's so important to try to maintain the global temperature on, on the air because now, we start realizing that on the tropic areas, the average is like changing. So uh, most of the eggs are becoming most females than males. And that could be a problem for a uh, equilibrium of, okay, of a animal like the sea turtle. So the eggs get buried and they will be there like two, three months, okay? And when the babies are ready, they start to crutch the egg, and when all together are ready, as many as they can survive, they start going up to the nest and raising the surface, okay? Usually they emerge during the night. When they are ready and the temperatures get down, okay, they, like, wake up and start going up together, 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 okay, like a lift, and uh, reach the surface, okay? Then when they are uh, on the night, if you are on a beach and no light, the clear area is the ocean, okay? Because it's reflecting the light of the, uh, of the, um, of the moon. So they go to the clearest um, area they can see, and that's the ocean. So they start going so fast until the ocean and 30 years on the ocean until they will come back 
to the same bees if they are females to nest their own eggs. Okay, so now we uh, we know different areas from the juveniles, but there are like two until from two to five years that people don't know where they go, never find any baby turtles, and we know now we don't know uh, where they can be like growing and eating a lot and getting strong to be ready to start their own way, go going back to, to the same bits that they born, okay? Because uh, the turtles, they will back to the same bits where they born. And how they do that? Because they are really clever, okay? And they use the waves and the ondulation of the ocean and they use the magnetic um, all, all beings and then they use all that when they are adults to remember where was the beach and going back to the same area okay so as i told the nesting process okay depends on the turtles they can spend from one and two hours even uh from the moment they start uh, appearing on the sand to the moment that they go back to the, uh, to the ocean again. So when we were patrolling, okay, we found turtles. Sometimes we found the turtles just in the, right on the moment that they start appearing on the ocean. And they need to start paddling with these long flips arriving to the top or the middle part of the of the beach okay and then they start looking for the best area to be comfortable when they feel they are really comfortable and good they start cleaning the area with these long front flippers okay and uh getting down the level of the of the beach okay of the sun then when they are ready they start making these holes with the back flippers okay and i want to show you this because you will understand better and easily okay 80 100 depends okay that can be like 20 minutes and we will be here okay we usually are here trying to wait from them then when it's ready she will cover all the hole okay and when all the hair is totally camouflaged and you cannot see where is now the nest, she will back again, okay? And you can see this nest one by one, covering by one, and in a like 50 and 80 centimeters deep. So after two months, when the babies are ready, as I told you, they will be together, going up to the surface but they are waiting from some predators okay because they have some predators like crabs like like birds okay so they need to go really 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 fast to the ocean and once there they will be spreading in all the ocean from 10 20 years 30 years even getting strong and bigger okay earring and when they are adults again they will back to the same beach again to do the same as their mother did okay so as i told you coming back to the same beach okay it's like the lost years we call the lost years because we don't know from the moment they took the, the, the ocean, we don't know where they go, okay? Never have been uh, spot any place when we can see the babies, okay? We have been found some, some juveniles, but like with a, <coughs> with a big size, okay? Being like, for example, 10 years, like you are more or less now, 10 years, 15 years, but where are babies? Okay, we never know where they go. And as I told you, 
they have a lot of threats, okay? Being babies, okay? They have a lot of threats like raccoons, okay? A lot of birds, crabs also. They are the, the, the hardest ones, the, 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 um, the worst, okay? I remember when we, when we were working there, we took care of all the babies and we uh, helped them to the ocean, okay? So we went ready because when the babies start going really fast to the, to the ocean, the crabs are just waiting for them. So they start cuddling them one by one and getting down to the sun and they disappear so fast. So we were with the sticks, okay? And we were trying to push out the crabs, the, the crabs to um, avoid them to get the babies, okay? And when we, when the babies uh, took the, uh, the ocean, they find another kind of threats, like for example, the big sharks, uh, and other fishes that can eat them. So they are really, really dangerous until they can grow uh, a little bit more than when they are just a tiny, like your hand, a tiny turtle, okay? But then, now, unfortunately, they have other threats and they are like the human threats because we are other kind of predator for them. Why? Because we are now in a lot of different uh, areas on the, around the world. So now it's really hard to find uh, like uh, uh, beach, beaches in uh, without, um, without light and they can just disturbance there okay and then because unfortunately some people uh catch them and some people can use their uh their uh, carpets okay their shell and make some jewelry for example like this like this okay there's a lot of jewelry or make okay with the um how to say the the motors of the boats, okay? The, uh, what was the name? I, I can't remember. The propeller. Yeah, 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 yeah. On, on the cell, okay? So it's really important because now there are so many industries, so many business uh, using boats on uh, nesting areas. And there are so many people trying to um, uh, sensibilize people, like take care, uh, be aware to uh, avoid turtles because they can really, really get damaged with the boats, okay? And other ones could be like the fishing nets also, again, because there are so many fishing uh, boats. And now people uh, have invented like uh, new techniques from the fishing nets in which the turtle can be inside, but there's like a door, okay, and the turtle can go out because people can not, they don't want to catch them. It's, it's like uh, non, um, how to say, uh, no, okay, it's non important. So people uh, help the uh, fishermen to avoid that because fishermen don't want the turtles, okay? They, they just are in the, But for example, in areas like I was, uh, there was a big uh, problem, a big threat, and it was because people in some areas think that eggs could be well for your health and could, uh, can help you to be strong or to be healthy. So people uh, steal the eggs and then they sell it on the markets. Okay, but that's really false, okay? The, the eggs are just an egg, as the chicken egg, as the, any other ones, okay? And we need to try to uh, uh, never eat kind of these eggs animals because they are really in extinction, okay? And the last uh, threat that they are facing and one of the biggest and one of the worst to, to face it's the plastic, okay? 
because now there are a lot of plastics around the world in all the oceans because of us, okay, because we use a lot of plastics. And so many turtles think that the plastic could be a uh, food, okay, could be food. For example, they can, uh, they see a plastic bag and as they are, they have a good eye, a good vision, but sometimes a plastic bag could be, uh, could appear like, like a jellyfish. So as the turtle uh, doesn't know that, they eat them. And we found some turtles, unfortunately, deaths, and they had inside their stomachs a lot of plastic because they uh, uh, make the mistake to eat them thinking that it's a lot and like food okay and that's why that's why it's so important to try to reduce our plastic uh, print okay and then the conservation okay uh, the conservation of sea turtles starts in the 80s with a man who is so so famous called Archicar, and it was in one place in Costa Rica, and was because we start realize how important are sea turtles in our uh, ecosystems. Okay, so people start uh, to protect them because they start to disappear because uh, every time they has less and less nesting areas because we are in a lot of different places and the nesting areas are, are sometimes disappearing so what do the uh, conservation projects as we do in conservation projects is protect the beach protect the nesting areas okay that's me with my friend and we were patrolling every time every day every uh, every night during five months patrolling the beach okay looking for turtles to protect them so what we do it's we work with a lot of different um, uh, groups of students and tourists that wants to come with us to help us to do that work so every night we get all our stuff and we get ready to spend like four or five hours on the beach with our lights looking for that uh, curious and uh, magnificent animals and when they were on the beach we just trying to collect the eggs in bags because we need to protect from the poachers, okay? And from the tides. Because in some areas, there are people who went into the beach to store the eggs. And uh, also, sometimes the tides are really, really high and cover all the beach. And if the nests are getting wet, the babies never will grow, okay? So we, uh, looking, we uh, were looking for turtles. When we found one, we just wait a little bit until, until uh, the turtle felt comfortable and she started to uh, dig in the nest. And from the moment she started to lay the eggs, we were on her back with a bag, okay? And getting the eggs one by one, or sometimes we put the bag inside with all all the, uh, uh, the pre precautions, okay, all the care we, we have to uh, receive the eggs and then put it into this, into the hatcheries, okay? The hatcheries are like a, like a, the same, the, and the name uh, says, it's like a space of, uh, of the beach that we prepare first, okay, at, at the, at the, at the first uh, of the season, and we make uh, how to explain like a pool of, for example, 20 meters per another five or six, and we get space from one meter to one meter to bury every nest in every space. Okay, as you can see here, every of these basks are one nest. And they are separated one meter for the other and one meter for the other. And inside that sun are a lot of nests. In this one was like, I think it's 129, if I, I'm not wrong. Okay. And when we know they are ready to hatch, because we get a lot of data every time, okay, 
we get data from the mom during the night, okay? We measure, we take measurements of the shell, of the flippers. We check if they have any injury to uh, help them, for example, like cats or, um, or barnacles in their skin, and we remove them, okay? And when we are ready, never in front, that's a wrong picture because she's in front of the turtle and that never uh, uh, need to be like that. You all, always need to be like this girl on her back and with red lights, okay? So after that, we had our own um, study, okay? With all the data and we knew when start every nest to grow. So five or 10 days after the day, it's supposed that they start to breathe, okay, to uh, appear. We put these baskets to be sure that they will not uh, start to move around and maybe uh, can die because they are uh, without, um, um, without the water, okay? So every time we realize uh, a nest was ready, we start picking it, picking up them in, in these uh, buckets, and then we put it together on the sun, okay, to go to the ocean by uh, herself, okay? Always by themselves. We never put the turtles in the, in the water, in the ocean, okay? We put it in the middle of the sun, and they just, start running, 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 going until the water. Because it's so important for the tiny ones to do this first, okay, this first um, way to start getting the muscles strong and uh, looking around and smelling the area and remembering the place, okay? Because they need to do all this to remember how to come back when they were, uh, when they are, uh, adults, okay? And as I told you, why we need to help uh, the turtles? Because we say they are the keystones, okay? One of the keystone species on the oceans. What does it mean? That means that thanks to them, the rest of the ecosystems can uh, work really, um, uh, really properly, okay? Can, can work properly because they are predator for another species that could be like flat. Okay, and for example, in, the, in some beaches like, like the nesting areas, thanks to all the eggs that they lay, the beach receives a lot of nutrients and a lot of predators also because it's the cycle of life, uh, eats the yolk eggs or eats, eats even um, the baby and the tiny ones that we don't like it, but sometimes they need to do it, okay, because it's necessary for ones to eat the others and, and ones to eat the others and that's the cycle of the life. The ecosystem works like that. But in this case, okay, now unfortunately turtles are getting down uh, more and more. So it's why we are protecting them and we are trying to protect instead of maybe protect other kind of species. Also will be protected when they need it, okay? But for example, in, in, the, uh, in Costa Rica, they have a lot of problems with the, with the raccoons, okay? And raccoons are not from them, okay? Raccoons start coming from uh, North America and other places. And now I remember in the last con uh, project I was, I was battling every time with raccoons because every night they want to eat uh, the eggs I was protecting. So we were on the hatchery with the volunteers helping us doing like a night long uh, safeties to protect the, uh, the turtles. So when the raccoon appears, you just get a light and focus with the light so, so quickly and they get scared and they move out, okay? But they are really, really uh, uh, hard competitors. <laughs> And now, how we can help turtles in other places? Well, uh, if we are in a nesting area, it's so important to know for some people, for example, now here in Spain, we are starting to receive more nests than usually, 
okay? And people are realizing that maybe uh, turtles who were far away from here are starting to come here because the change, uh, the water is changing, and the temperature, the temperatures of the ocean of the uh, Mediterranean Sea are getting high, and they are like uh, finding that oh, it's a good area now for them, and they are like thinking, okay, usually I start uh, my way uh, into the Mediterranean Sea, but I need to go far away because they are the hottest areas. But now, all shores, okay, are um, sometimes like ready for the temperature they need. So they think, okay, I can be here, okay, and I don't need to waste a lot of energy just paddling, just swimming so long if I can do it here. But they don't understand that unfortunately we are in all the places. So sometimes when they arrive to a shore, they can find things that it's not good for them. For example, like when, do, when we do these um, sand castles, Sometimes are tiny and it's even uh, okay, but other other people say like big ones, okay, and then uh, they uh, forget to destroy them. So if a turtle appears and there's not a big one, uh, maybe find this uh, sand castle and she feels she cannot move more uh, close when they want to to do it. So they just uh, feel scared, feel uncomfortable, and turn out and go out. And that's really, really hard because every female that goes to the beach means that wants to lay the eggs. And that's so important for the species because maybe then they will lay in other place or even in the ocean and the babies will die, okay? And of course, we need to remember that every time that we will be on the beach, we need to pick up all our trash, okay? and go and throw it in the properly places. Never, never leave any kind of trash on the beach. Just not for turtles, just even for us, but also if they're in a turtle area, okay? Then sometimes about the lights, because they are really sensual about the, uh, the lights on their eyes and they can feel scared, they can feel like, like a threat, and if we are using a light or moving so fast, they can just uh, feel again uncomfortable and go in uh, and go out. So for example, when we were patrolling, we were one of us, one of biologists, and the rest of the volunteers of the students, and we were on a line, and just me usually use the, the light, and I never use a light a bright one. I all, uh, always use just a red one. And some students get scared because we were on a night, okay, in a beach, patrolling with no light, but we know where we are and we uh, say to them all the nights, just uh, if you want to know what's to work as a scientist, what's to work as a conservationist, you just need to trust to us because we we know what we are doing here and and there are no and uh, there are no one here just turtles and if you want to see turtles you need to be uh on on darkness and in, then even they really like that because they start to feeling like a movie like they are a little ninja turtle conservators and and they like a lot uh, going on the beach during the night okay and as we told you, as I told you, uh, it's so important about the plastic, okay? Because there are so many plastic bags in the sun, in the ocean, okay? And we need to remove all that, okay? Not just for turtles, for all the rest of the animals, but even the turtles, unfortunately, thinks they are good food and start to eat them, okay? Um, Imagine you are there in Ireland uh, in summer because the, the season is in summer and one night you are on the beach and you find a turtle. What you will do? It's so important to know what to do if you find one turtle because that can be the difference between a nest and a female laying the next generation or 
uh, females carrying and getting into the ocean again. So it's important first, if you find one, to step away, okay, and never being close because you don't know what uh, she's doing. And then you need to call the police or call the authorities. There are so many organizations we, uh, who has a, this kind of uh, work. And if you call them, they will know what to do, okay? Uh, again, never be in front of the turtle because you can scare them. So you always be on, on her back, just wearing, okay? And it's so important to know because so many people never understand that, that you can take pictures maybe if you are long, but you never need to use the flash. You never must use the flash, okay? It's like the same as the lights. So in, in our case, for example, when we work with the students and when we work with, uh, with uh, uh, people, with groups, I never allow to bring cameras on the beach and to bring any mobile phone, okay? It's, it's a sad thing, but when the people are there, sometimes uh, people get lost the mobiles and we cannot stop to uh, find a mobile phone because we maybe are losing turtles. So we never allow to bring any, any mobile. But sometimes if maybe um, uh, one guy came to us and say, I want to take some professional pictures on a video record. So we allow them, but we were with them, with us. And when we worked with the turtle, we never uh, were, were uh, in front and we use only the red light, okay? So I have a lot of uh, different pictures of turtles, but with the red, uh, the red light and in the properly situation, okay? And of course, that's really, really important also, not uh, about turtles, but about any other um, uh, animal that we never need to touch them, okay? Because they are not pets. That's important to understand because so many people think that the turtles can be, can be pets or other kind of animals, and we never know what they can do. So for example, I remember when I was working with them, we usually tag them in the flippers to have a number, okay? And I was really close to uh, his mouth, and he bit me in my finger, and it helps me a lot, okay? So we need to take care because you don't know uh, if an animal on, 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 on land can be dangerous for you or not. Even a turtle who is really, really sensitive and sensible with us, okay? And for me, that's all. And I don't know if you really want to uh, um, ask me any question. No, not yet. I have a question. On the on one of the yeah. first slides, there was something about the eggs, and one of the things said that one of the turtles has yolk as egglet. No, yolk. Yes. Eggs, eggs without yolk. Yes. Is <laughs> the yolk as eggs? The latter by ones. Okay. Are the uh, just the only turtles uh, who has a uh, yolk. I mean, like no, non dogless, uh, okay? Has the um, big ones, are the dull ones, and then we, we call veins, okay? Like usefuls. So now after different uh, like studies, there are like mm, two different theories that say that due to they lay more eggs than, than usually than other turtles, they need to put this kind of eggs because they want to uh, keep the, all the clutch warm, okay? So they lay, they lay at first all the big ones, all the good ones, and just at, at the end, they start laying like, depends on every turtle, but could be five, could be 20, okay? And they are time, like um, uh, smaller than, than the others, and here on the, on, up on, on, the, on the nest. But as they are smaller, usually go, in the middle part, so it seems like it can help you get warm or the clutch, okay? The other theory say that 
are uh, due to predators, like a uh, uh, development uh, theory of the of the turtles, like due to predators could search, okay, from the shark face could search and look for for the the eggs. If mm -hmm. they find uh, the the wrong ones and they start eating and they don't like it, they think, okay, that's useful. I don't want more, so they move out. Okay, mm -hmm. so. It's it's not a one theory, you know. The science is like that. Like, it, we make different studies, and sometimes you think one thing, and then it's not all the time the same, and then you go to other way, and seems like better. But it's it's like an open an open uh, speech, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. an open an open thing around the the science so is this is this uh, turtle is the only one who does it or yes yes maybe other ones could be it uh, could lay like one two but like the the only species who has been known that every time they lay they lay these kind of eggs are just leatherbacks okay mm -hmm. i i wore like in two years uh leatherbacks i wore like two uh, like 320 between two years, and then I was working with greens, hogs, wheels, and, and with the uh, olive ridlets. And I never saw uh, this non jolk in the, the rest of the species. And are the baby turtles eating it later on, or is it just being left in the nest? Uh, do you say like, like taking care or something like this? Sorry? Yeah, yeah. Can, can you repeat the question? <laughs> like those those egg those yolkless eggs when the turtles are hatching, what happens to those to those eggs? Are they being ah, okay. eaten by the turtles or they just stay there? No, they they just stay there. I mean, in the case the turtle lay the eggs in the sand, and we we don't pick up that uh, clutch, okay? Because sometimes when the uh, if the vita are are good enough and it doesn't have any problem about tides or about this kind of poachers. Uh, we try to uh, uh, keep on the same place and just try to protect them, okay? But mm -hmm. most times, and even every time are more uh, uh, common, we need to relocate the nest into that hatcheries due to different circumstances like, like the, the uh, poachers or even the, this kind of uh, uh, predators, okay? They, they are really, really clever and, and sometimes you cannot fight against them. So the reaction of, of conservation was like, okay, we need to move some of them or most of them into a, a secure safety area, and that's the, the hatcheries. So we put all the eggs at the same place, okay? Usually we pick up or we get it and we bury it and, and, re, and like rebuild the nest at the same uh, measures, long, deep, and, and wide. And we put the eggs, and we put also the veined ones. We put the, the non gels okay? But when they hatch, the others stay there. That's the, the thing I say, like, the nutrients, okay? Because it's, like, a good part for the beach to be, uh, like, healthy and, and plenty of nutrients. Mm -hmm. And when, you, when they hatch in the nursery and yeah. you, you collect them into the baskets, are you, set, are you driving them to the beach where you collected the eggs or they, they are going to the sea from the, from the beach that you have the, the nesting area? Or is that exactly it's the same spot? Usually are the same spots and we try to, yeah, that, that's, that works like a, sometimes uh, like for, for some people and, and even uh, between, between us, between biologists, Sometimes people say one thing, or they say other thing, okay? Uh, for example, in my case, we work in three kilometers area, okay? It was like a bit from three kilometers. So um, when we pick up one nest on the, on the far away part, okay, on the, the, part, the, the, the farthest part, uh, then it, it, it wasn't common to go until, you know, until there and then release them on that part. Because it's not necessary to have in the same mitres, okay? Uh, this kind of, of animals can remember uh, all the area. For example, leatherbacks lay from Nicaragua, sometimes even Mexico in some parts, uh, Costa Rica, and going Panama, and some parts of Venezuela. Uh, Trinidad Tobago is one of the uh, best nesting uh, areas from leatherbacks. 
So sometimes the next thing I have could be like like 300 kilometers, you know. So it's it's not really important to have it just on the same three meters that they uh, they um, like were late, okay, the babies. Mm -hmm. But we try to spread them in at least like one and a half kilometer, okay, because we we have this the hatchery uh, in our in our. Um, station the station was just on the beach okay and, and like like we start patrolling and in 100 meters i was on the beach okay like two minutes so we start in uh we spread all the beach in different sections in portions of 100 meters okay so it was three kilometers 100 meters 30 portions and we were more or less on 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 the uh, number four Okay, so we use the first part, one and a half kilometers, to spread every time we uh, release them uh, in different parts, but not even for them, but more even for predators. To mm -hmm. try to not use you to be on the same place every time, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's not totally necessary uh, to release them going. I mean, it's the best part, but it. It doesn't mean that could be worse if you don't know it, if you don't don't do it. Do you remember anything? Yes, information <laughs> overload. Can you yeah, can, no. can you tell us which of the turtle that you just talked about we can we can come across in Ireland? Which one is found the most? Like they don't uh, come to our beaches much unless they hurt yes. or really, uh, covered I in mean, dust, but. On on your part, as as I know, uh, usually some uh, careta careta can be on that area. It's it's not common to go on the Mediterranean area. Okay, the uh, I mean the one you have more average to find could be that one. Could be leatherbacks. Okay, because mm -hmm. now people think that there are uh, feeding areas on the north of uh, on the uh, Atlantic north. You know, so uh, they have been seen on Ireland, on Scotland, on the um, uh, north part of Spain, and but no, no nesting. You know, mm -hmm. so I'm not sure if if in that area you have a lot of nesting beaches, but if you find one, could be a lost one, and maybe are or this one or Caleta Galeta, the, mm -hmm. the we we call boba. Like uh, or or uh, how does the other um, lower head, lower head? Can you show us the slide with all the turtles so we can yes, get, we can take course. pictures for a picture yes. for ourselves. That one, okay. Just yeah, that one. Yeah. That's careta careta, okay. Just wait for a second. Like the Mediterranean one. It's in Mediterranean and in Florida. Florida is one of the the best areas now for them to to go there. And the other one, it's this one. Is that the one that you were writing down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Bruno is Bruno is um, yeah. The, he likes the same guy. The, the, that's the black. The letter, the letter back. The letter back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was starting to write about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. they, they look cool. Yeah, okay. For me, it's, it's, it's the best also. It's the the beautiful one. I mean, when you when you are there and you find one of the such a big monster like that, but you realize they're really, really calm and quiet, you know, it's, it's uh, impressive for you. Yeah, we read today somewhere that the biggest turtle, sea turtle found was three meters long. Yes. And he uh -huh. weighed 900. Six, 950. No? 950. Yeah. And, um, yes. and we kind of measure it across the house, how, you know, how big is three meters, how big was that turtle? So that's another yes, question. Yes, yes. When you measure a turtle, are you measure the yes. turtle from the nose, from the beak to the no, tail? I, the yeah, head, sorry, or just the I, shell? I didn't explain you. No, if we usually just uh, meet the shell. Okay, so okay. we so start here. Okay, in this like the intersection from the skin to the shell, and in a long cycle measure, we arrive to the tail, and we take the measure of all that part. Okay, long. And then from from the middle part, more or less of the of the shell, the weight. Okay, 
we take the measurements of, of long and, way, and, and wide, then the flippers, uh, front flipper, back flipper, okay, because we use the uh, wide of the back flipper to do the same wide of the nest because they can uh, do as deep as they have their back flipper, okay? Okay. That's, that's, thank you. There was something else we were talking about in the morning and I don't remember now. So that's all, I think. <laughs> okay. Have thank you very much. Me. Thank you, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, guys, for joining in anyway. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Loads of nice information. Some new, very new. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and thank uh, you, Christian, as well. Really, really good talk. Thank you so much. I'm sorry about my English. I'm sorry. You have been no, it's perfect. Really good. Don't worry. We understood everything. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you so much. And, and Neymar, that's a really, really good uh, initiative about what you were you're doing to, you know, connect people. And, well, we're all and stuck inside, right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, I'm totally free. And unfortunately now, because we are stuck at home, if yeah. some, if some of the day uh, any other people wants to connect or talk about any other matter for me to be absolutely yeah okay Perfect. thank you so much. so much guys that's great thank you bye thanks thank you. Bye. 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 bye